What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to be covering the Corsair IQ version 4 Scimitar mouse, how to keybind it for World of Warcraft. Um, most specifically for World of Warcraft, but it does work in other games. Um, it just uses your numpad keys. So, I know in the previous tutorial, I mentioned numpad, numlock, not numpad, needed to be enabled. Um, let me get to that right now. But before I enter the video, I just want to say thank you for all the support so far. It is greatly appreciated. I do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash gridlockguides, Monday through Wednesday right now. Uh, mostly in the evening or in a side of people. Um, it is 6 to 11. Those times do vary a little bit, but I try and stick to that as much as possible. Um, it may become later here shortly. But without further ado, Corsair IQ. Key binding. Why is this important? Well, my last video covered it, but Corsair made a massive improvement with version 4. To know if you're on version 4 or not, you come over to the settings cog wheel. Come down to updates and it will tell you all of your firmwares. It'll tell you, hey, we're installed on version 429.203. So as long as you have that, you could follow along with this tutorial perfectly fine. So before I jump into the video, before questions are asked, numlock will be covered. Um, it is actually baked into this. I just want to point that out now. Um, numlock will be covered in this and I'm actually going to transition to that right now. You'll notice I did go ahead and make a YouTube tutorial preset for this. Um, so normally when you get it fully built, you know, it'll be colored in. Obviously mine's a green, so it's going to be a little harder to see, but all those buttons are working for me. Um, you can tell that if I jump off the profile real quick, click on my mouse. This is what it looks like when you get grandfathered in. So this is why I did not make a tutorial on this, because mine just seamlessly worked when I updated to 4.0. Um, but for those of you that did not and are just getting into this, um, I will guide you through this right now. So let's go ahead and click on YouTube tutorial. You'll notice... When I click back over to the mouse, I did go ahead and bind a couple of them to just to make it quicker, but I will go through keyboard one, two, and three with you guys right now. Uh, the rest of the nine are just pre-bound already. I bound them before I made this. Um, so we click on this plus sign three separate times. You can rearrange this. You can click on that as many times as you want. I just clicked on it three times because, hey, this is kind of where it goes. You'll notice it says new assignment, right? So within Corsair 4, it's got a whole bunch of different things for remapping your keys on your keyboard, remapping the mouse. I'm going to be covering the remap keyboard. So that's the fourth option over on the IQ program. Remap keyboard right there. So we're going to do number one. Click on keyboard, and you'll notice a whole new window pops up. I'm going to full screen this so it's a little easier. Oh, my webcam actually blocks that. So let me unfull screen it real quick. So this is what you'll get. Wanted to see if putting it outward would work. Obviously, the IQ program itself is a little... You just got to kind of work with it. Um... I'm sorry in advance on that one, but here's how this works. So you click keyboard, right? You hit the plus, you click on the one you want, and then you hit keyboard. You click the key. So for this example, we're going to hit number one, or you can also click the one right here. Make sure it's on and it says number one. And then you're going to come down here to number one right that you have to have that enabled right there so if i just increase this keyboard real quick you'll notice the number one is highlighted then we just hit okay once again and this just 
change to keyboard seven, it should be keyboard one. We try this again. That's going to be keyboard two. And this is going to be keyboard three. Right? So if we'd go to number two now, click here on the key. After you click on keyboard, click on the number two. And then click on the number two on the full keyboard itself. Hit OK. Now you have number two bound. Number three, same thing, keyboard. Number three on the key, you can hit here or over here. Both don't matter. And then number three on the keyboard. So that was just that first top row. I already have the rest of them bound. I just wanted to show how to bind them in the IQ program. That's how you bind each one of the keys individually. Now, numlock. Before I go any further, numlock has to be enabled for this to work. In order to enable numlock, if you have a keyboard with it, just tap on it. Make sure that button's enabled, right? If you don't have a keyboard with numlock, if you're, say, you're on a laptop or you're on, like, a, you know, a shorter keyboard that doesn't have the num the numro keys, you can enable it with this IQ program now. So they... If I add an extra key here and we just label it keyboard and then change this to say numlock, numlock key, right? Numlock key. You can put this on your mouse. You can put this on your keyboard. Just put it somewhere. You won't touch it, right? So I'm going to select this one to be down here at the bottom. I'm going to select it as keyboard 12, right? And then on the keyboard that Corsair has provided, thank you so much for this. You have no idea how long I've been wanting something like this to exist. You just click on numlock, just hit that button, right? So now we're gonna hit okay. You'll notice 12 is bound to numlock. If I click on 12 on my keyboard here in a second, it enables and disables numlock. I'm looking down at it right now on my keyboard. It will enable and disable numlock. So you've now been given a way to enable it if you don't have it. Find that somewhere you won't touch it while playing. Problem solved. I don't have to because I have one, but I just figured I would point that out. But now that we have all, all of them bind in the IQ program... How do you bind it in WoW? So, binding it in WoW is actually insanely simple. If you have LVI or Bartender 4, Dominoes, a basically an action bar based add-on, all you have to do is type slash KB for keybind, and it brings up binding mode. When Dragonflight launches in the pre-patch, their new UI comes with this, You'll just have to click on one of the action bars, right click it, click key binding mode, and it brings up everything. Same concept. And that's in the base UI now, which is wonderful. Thank you, Blizzard. But for the time being right now, um, I'm using Dom or Bartender, so you'll notice this has numpad 1 through 9 already found. Um, to do that with Bartender, you're just going to hover over the key you want. Click numpad, right? So, let me move binding mode out of the way. Number three, you'll notice it shows it up here, right? I, I'm pointing at my computer, but you get the drift. Um, numpad four, right? So, it's binding the key that you choose. So now, all nine or 12 keys that you want are bound. Disclaimer. If you bind shift... Two, four, six, and eight. With this setup, they do work as rotational abilities, or you know, like defensive cooldowns, hearthstones, whatever you want them to be. But they will be using your arrow keys in this setup. Two, four, six, and eight are numpad's way of arrow keys. Um, 
So just be cautious of that. For some users, it could be home and end and page up, page down. It depends on the keyboard that you're using uh, at the time. And when you put it into WoW, it rips whatever keybind you're using and throws it as that bind. So just make sure when you're binding that, uh, that you make sure you know which one it is. That way you can use it. It is an extra bind, but it does rip it from somewhere else. So, now that we have everything bound, there you go. Um, I will just go ahead and show. I am still on that. I am still on this profile, right? We are still on YouTube tutorial. You'll notice I can hover over this dummy. We can click on all of my abilities real quick just to show that they all work. So that is the Corsair team binding on your Corsair Scimitar is as simple as it gets. I appreciate you all for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. We will be hardcore streaming Dragonflight. I will be releasing videos. I am playing Rogue Warrior right now um, for Dragonflight, so I'm sorry if you followed me for my Warlock content. It may or may not be a distant alt, but I've switched back to my melee roots. We are going back full Rogue Warrior. If you'd like to follow me over there, that is twitch.tv slash gridlockguides. But I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you're owning some Dragonflight with the pre-patch being extended as long as it is for about a month. This should be pretty simple. But I'm going to quit rambling. Thank you guys and have a good one.